Hi, I'm Phil, and I'm the Chief Technical Advisor in SAP Design. One of our biggest um, concerns was really how all of our users would really interpret the new aesthetics that we've been developing and designing. And to do that, really, you need to do that in code so people can really touch and feel the software themselves um, and also apply it to their own um, setup. Particularly when we look at inclusive design, we don't have all the myriad of different um, uh, options that, of course, people uh, configure their, their, their own experiences um, within. And so actually it was interesting and, and really eye-opening that the first um, session actually that we attended when we built the early prototypes uh, in code uh, was actually used by a low vision user. And I, I still remember, and you know, as, as a developer, you know, and especially as a, a design developer, um, you really try and focus on getting every pixel perfect, all the box shadows perfect, all the little micro interactions, absolutely pixel perfect, because that's what we strive for. And um, it was just fascinating. And as I said, so, so eye-opening to actually see how the experience looked on someone who has a computer configured for low vision. So really high contrast, um, you know, borders uh, around uh, controls uh, really highlighted and all of that, what is essentially fluff, um, you know, design fluff uh, just disappeared and you were left really with the core of how people um, have to view and use our software as our end user, right? You join a company, they're using SAP, you're using that software to conduct your work. If you're not able to use that software, then you're not able to work. And that is a big responsibility that we have and we must, from day one in development of even early prototypes, must consider within our code and within our concepts and within our testing going forward. I think how I changed and, and how also now we view the development process when we look at prototypes is really to ensure that core, what we would call an enterprise grade features of accessibility, um, the way that controls are described, the, the sections of an interface, that's there from day one now. Without that, a whole set of our users cannot use our software. Some of the quick wins you can have. First, when you get a design, make sure that it uses the inclusive design toolkit so that it's annotated with the right information that you need as a developer to be able to quickly provide screen reader support, to provide keyboard navigation and for um, accessibility uh, context for the for the development and then make sure you don't consider this as being an enterprise thing that happens later on in the process but it's something that you bake in from the beginning so please read up the, on the WCAG standards um, just see how very quickly you can use ARIA annotations within your code um, to to um, give roles to content that you're you're developing and all of this means that from from day one using just a simple set of annotations and some simple bits of code, you can already ensure that um, the uh, majority of users will be able to interact with your prototypes and actually use your, your solutions.